we just visited the Met where we saw Alexander McQueen Savage Beauty and it was gorgeous. Hey Sex Ted, it's still Friday and I'm seeing Catch Me If You Can. Alright, bye. Hey Sex Ted, guess what? I'm at Alexander McQueen. Bye bye. Hello Sex Ted. Um, this video is going to be really late because it's like 1.30 a.m. on Monday and I just got back from New York. Um, I'm not outside for this part of the video, sorry, but it's 1 a.m. so it'd be kind of dark and I have a little bit of footage outside. Um, I just want to preface this by saying I don't have too much footage from New York because this wasn't really like a tourist visit. I go there every year pretty much so it's not a very touristy visit ever for me. But um, this one especially was just to see like friends and Broadway shows. So I have a little like me outside the marquee saying, hey, I'm seeing this show. But that's about all you could see in New York. Sorry. That's all the outside part I have. I'll try and vlog outside more. But um, New York was really, really awesome. It was just really good. Uh, I'm just going to detail my week for you a little bit. Wednesday started with hell on a train 15 plus I think it was like it ended up being like 17 hours on the train um and then I took a cab to we stayed with our friends who we knew from Virginia and they just moved to like the Heights area a couple years ago so um we stayed up there and then Thursday morning we took the subway in uh Children Bryant Park um visited a couple stores and like Conran and I don't know just random things and then at night we went to see Anything Goes which was absolutely phenomenal I I can't even describe how professional and how entertaining it was really everyone on that stage was so talented it was, it was very equal level, consistent level of talent, and the staging was wonderful, the choreography was brilliant, and of course, Sun Foster is a goddess. She, she's just amazing. Um, she, like in Anything Goes and Blow Gabriel Blow, she's belting her heart out, and then there's a huge dance break where she, in Anything Goes, is tapping all over the place, and in Blow Gabriel Blow is like doing splits here and there, all these moves and then she goes right back to singing and you would not know she's out of breath at all until the very end when you can slightly see her <sighs> but no and she stays so well in character but then off stage she's just she's the nicest most down-to-earth person despite winning two Tonys and being nominated for all these roles and just you know having all this talent she has such a level head and she's so inspiring but yeah, I love her a lot. Um, and then Friday, we went back in the city and we went to the Met to see Alexander McQueen's Savage Beauty um, display. Since, you know, he died, they have that whole um, tribute to him about. And the dresses there are just fabulous. We got um, a book with all the pictures of them and... Oh, the construction is so amazing, but also the way he displayed his clothes, like the shows, it was so creative, and what he has to say about them. It's really very nice, so that was worth the, like, hour-long wait. And then we went to have lunch with my our friend Michael Rafter, um, and chatted about his and Sutton's upcoming projects, which should be interesting to look out for. Uh... And it was really good to see him because he runs Destination Broadway, which is a camp I went to for six years, starting with, like, the first year it opened until I didn't go last year and I won't go this year because I was in Europe last year. And I'm just 18 and, you know, moving on. But it's it was a fabulous, fabulous six years. And the teachers there were great. But uh, it was really nice to see Michael. And then we went to Catch Me If You Can at night with our friends in the city and that was good too I liked it I especially liked the score in the book and the dance numbers were very nice but it was a little inconsistent talent wise like there were some 
really, really good stars and chorus, but then there were some like, eh, ones that could work on things. They were more, they weren't triple threats overall, they were more like, this person's a singer and this person's a dancer instead of blurring the line. But Aaron Tveit and Norbert Leo Butts were brilliant, so I was most excited about them, so that's good. Uh, and then Saturday, oh, we also went shopping on Friday, because you gotta go shopping while you're in the city. Um, what did we even do Saturday? Oh, goodness. Well, Saturday, we saw How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying for the matinee, which there were so many people there, because I guess it's a bigger theater than the other ones, but the line was all the way down the block, but, uh... It was really, really phenomenal. Like, I was not expecting the level of talent that it had in it. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, Daniel Radcliffe, he's, you know, he's going to be cute. He's gonna, It's going to be good. But he stepped it up. He took so many singing and dancing lessons. He looked so natural on that stage. It was it was great. And his American accent sounded good. Like, I'd seen some interviews where it was like, eh, but it's, it's, it was pretty spot on. Um, and it, the staging and choreography was that, was just, like, perfect. I don't know, there were so many stunts they added, and just little things that were just, really put it over the edge. And, like, John Larroquette was hilarious, and all those names, but the chorus was really great, too. I've been really impressed with the chorus overall in the shows. It's really dense heavy now, which is good because I like dancing but um uh, so that was fabulous and oh we also went to lunch at my friend's restaurant she manages a Lebanese restaurant and I'd never had Lebanese food before but it is so good uh, I don't remember the name of the restaurant off my head but if I can figure that out you should go check that out if you're ever in New York because delicious absolutely delicious and unusual but everything there was perfect uh and that was great seeing her she had moved from here to new york she worked at a vintage stop that my the vintage store that my sister and i go to all the time so that's where we became friends with her and then she moved up there so we didn't get to see her much but it was really just it was a great trip in that i got to see shows and i got to see all my friends and I just kind of got to explore the city again, which is good because I plan to move there as soon as I can. <laughs> the sooner the better. Um, yeah, I already miss it. But I start um, helping out with my old high school's vocal camp tomorrow because my sister's going and they needed section leaders. So, hello, Fiona. I have a job for once. Oh, while I was in the seat, I also got ugh, while I was in the city, I also got my Luna wig, which I haven't tried on yet, but I'm hoping that'll work. And I'm gonna try and get um, dirigible plum earrings. We'll see how that works out, but I'm gonna try. So I need to get a new wand, but beyond that, I'm pretty prepared for Leaky Gun. I just need to work on music some more. And speaking of music, we went to Colony Music while I was up there and got lots of books. So I have lots of new repertoire. But, yeah, that pretty much sums up my trip to New York. And everyone sounds like they're having good summers so far. Um, I don't know. I've, I've watched the videos, but it's so early in the morning that I can't really think process of anything that I want to say in response so I'll put in the description or something in the future yeah. or I'll talk about it next week and I just oh I understand about the open and the close thing with the whole robes but I don't have student robes that fit me anymore so I don't know unless you meant like your costume for the leaky con then I might I'll probably like you said Rachel just figure it out there I'll just try and do that and that's pretty much all I have to say today. Sorry this is going to be like clip, 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 and cut, 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 and not cute. But thanks for sticking with me. It's been 
an awesome few days, and I'm excited for LeakyCon, so I'll see you all then, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!